What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist and today we are playing Warhammer 40k 7th edition because 8th edition is not out yet. Now we had to make a makeshift uh, table here. So we're at my buddy's house. By the way, it's the Sound Alchemist versus my buddy who wishes to remain unknown. So we'll call him, uh, we'll call him Tau Guy. We'll go with Tau Guy against the Sound Alchemist. So since he doesn't have a table, we're at his place. We kind of made a makeshift uh, table here. So we're playing on the world of Billiards 3. And this is the makeshift table. Uh, we got some pretty awesome terrain. Uh, at least these things are. Kind of uh, Japanese-esque. But besides that, the planet of Billiards 3 has these floating balls around there. So that's going to provide a little extra cover, which I'm greatly going to need. Since I am playing my Celestial Sons, and he is wielding my Tau army. Now he hasn't played since, I believe it was 4th edition? 5th edition? Somewhere around there. So uh, this is just a starter game for him, so... Forgive him if he does some mistakes, but I'm going to try and teach him the game. And we'll go from there. Anyway, this is the table. 1,000 points of my Celestial Sons against Farsight Tau. And here we have 1,000 points of Celestial Suns. Well, it's actually 990 points. So we've got my commander, Lord Commander Oros, as my warlord. I've got a combat squad of 10 marines. The captain has a power weapon and a combi plasma. Same thing for this other squad of tactical marines. I also have a five man of cataphracty terminators with hammers and shield. And lastly, I've got a Catan shard of the form seeker. And now moving over here is 1,000 points of Farsight Enclave Tau. Actually, it's 996. So starting off, we have the commander with Iridium Armor, two Fusion Blasters, Stimulant Injector, and Shield Generator. And then, of course, you gotta have a Riptide. This Riptide has the dual Fusion Blasters, Earthcast Piloting Array, an Ion Accelerator, and the Stimulant Injector. And then he's got three one-man squads of double missile uh, crisis suits. And then in the back, we've got the drone net squadron. It is three units of marker lights plus one unit of gun drones. And lastly, we have two uh, broadsides with shield generator and dual missiles. Uh, for a thousand points, this actually looks pretty deadly. So let's see what happens in this kill point mission. All right, guys, here is the beginning of turn one. So here are my Celestial Suns basically lined up the middle all the way down to, I guess, a little bit more. Yeah, it's the same thing, really. Uh, there's the one unit of the drones, Riptide, and then basically everything else just lined right up. Pretty small battlefield, so it's going to be a lot of carnage ensuing. It is Celestial Suns turn one, so let them go first. It is the end of my turn one, the Celestial Sun's turn one. And not a lot happened, I basically moved everything up. Uh, my Catan Shard flew through this house and is now hovering behind this orb. Now here is where the fun stuff did happen. So I had my uh, Psychic Abilities cast, the Tau could not get any of them to not go off. So what happened over here was I successfully casted my Celestial Alignment Special Ability or psychic power, and this is when the Psyker and his unit can reroll any failed armor or invulnerable saves. Um, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a hail of fire coming over here, so these guys got that. Over here, uh, they got that same power off with this tactical squad, and my Lord Commander Oros got his solar, solar Bolt Orbs <laughs> casted. Now what that is, it's a blessing that targets just him. This power can only be cast once per Psyker successfully. And once cast, you roll a d3. The result is the amount of orbs summoned. These orbs can either be used to regain lost wounds up to the model's original number, or they can be fired as a strength 9 AP2 Assault 1 Soul Blade with a range 24. So he got that successfully casted upon himself, and I rolled a 5. So he has d, or he has 3 orbs around himself ready to protect him or to fire. These guys tried to do uh, some psychic stuff, but nothing happened. What they did do, though, 
is I did equip them with two uh, plasma missiles. So these plasma missiles went out, fired, and killed one of the crisis suits. So uh, that was first blood for me since he only had a one-man suit over there. So first blood and one kill point for the Celestial Suns. It is currently two to zero on to Tau turn one. All right, it is Tau turn two, and I definitely have to say beginner's luck for my buddy over here. He did awesome. So basically all his uh, his drones, since they're part of that formation, they get a freaking buff to their shooting. So they got a lot of marker hits. They managed to whittle down his uh, ball save, his cover save, down to nothing. And they also increased the firing from one of his crisis suits. So they fired into him. And they did, uh, I think they did like four, three or four hits on him. But uh, thankfully the Catan's toughness came in strong and he only took one wound. So he's down to three wounds, but that's not the end for her. Over here was probably the big play of the day. All these marker lights tagged up my tactical swan and he Nova charged his Riptide's ion cannon and he fired that fucking blast all the way over here. And as you can see, their re-rollable saves did nothing because they couldn't they didn't have any invulnerable save and that cover save didn't really help against the ordinance so he took down eight of my guys including my sergeant so now that my sergeant's down they also lose the psychic power that was bestowed upon them so it's just two lone guys luckily they're fearless so they'll keep on chugging but um yeah pretty pretty devastating from the firepower of the town uh, basically everything else just shifted and moved up and um, on to my Celestial Suns, turn two. Alright, that was the end of my Celestial Suns, turn two. And nothing much really happened. I kind of just moved these guys up on the board. Couldn't cast any psychic powers. I rolled really bad. Um, these guys, since there's just two of them, they decided to move and run behind this... Uh, house with the tree growing on top of it uh this guy though he fired his uh katan powers and he rolled for sky of falling stars so he shot that over at the riptide and luckily i managed to kill all four of those drones that were in front of him but i could not wound him he rolled too good on his saves other than that it did give me a kill point so now it is three for my celestial sons and still zero for the Tau. Tau, turn two. They freaking did pretty bad. <laughs> well, I did pretty bad on my rolls. <sighs> okay, so this is what happened. So all his guys moved up. His uh, marker light drones lit up my Catan shard. And it took just two broadsides to fire all their missiles to take it down. With this Riptide, he hit that Nova Charge, and he fired once again his Blast Template deep into my lines over here. And I could not roll good at all. I got like seven ones, and he killed like, like again, seven of my guys. So luckily they're fearless. I still have my Lord Commander Oros, as well as the Sergeant with three other guys over there. And then he took a few more pot shots at these Terminators, but nothing happened. So with that being said, he did gain one kill point for killing the uh, Catan Shard. So it is three to one, and on to Celestial Suns, turn three. So that is the end of turn three for my Celestial Suns. Everything, well, these guys, they moved and they ran up pretty good. Still kind of far, so the, uh, I'm not sure how I'm feeling there. These guys were close enough to take some pot shots into the gun drones over here. They killed two, and then Lord Commander Oros fired two of his solar bolt orbs and finished off the other ones. So that is yet another kill point for the Celestial Suns. So I believe it is now four to one for the Suns. It is the end of turn three for Farsight's Tau. Once again, this guy is doing great with his freaking Nova charges, and he hit these guys over here, but luckily they all 
worse good. <laughs> um, yeah, they did pretty good, all things to my captain over here. So no wounds that time, thankfully. This guy fired into that same squad. Once again, my tank, my captain tanked all those shots. Same thing, these guys all fired into it. Finally, my captain broke. He took uh, two wounds, but his four plus few no pain helped him out there. Lastly, the commander fired two shots of his fusion blasters, both hitting my commander. And I did take one wound, but luckily I used my last solar bolt orb to regain that wound. So now he still has his three wounds left. He's back to full power, but he does not have any more orbs left to use. And then, with the rest of all these guys, they fired their marker lights, fired all these missiles and everything, and I only lost one Terminator. So again, he did not get any kill points, but my army is proving resilient. Can I get into close combat? I have two turns left. Let's find out. Turn four for the Celestial Suns. I greatly appreciate my opponent for forgetting to use his jetpacks move. So my Terminators moved up and they freaking hit with that 11 inch charge. So they charged in against the marker drones and just, you know, obviously they're freaking hammernators. So that is yet another kill point for the Suns. And then they consolidated closer to his line of Tau. With my dudes, they just moved up and they fired their Bolters. Uh, didn't manage to hurt anything. So it is yet another point. I believe it is Celestial Suns 5 to Tau 1. On to Tau, turn 4. Tau, turn 4. He finally moved his guys to basically surround my Terminators that were over there. And he literally launched his entire army at them. Uh, I took everything he had, but he killed all four of them. See, there they are. Over in heaven. <laughs> But anyway, it took all his firepower, everything shot. Luckily for the Riptide, he Nova charged and he rolled ones twice in a row. So he got one, uh, I was gonna say one hull point. He got one uh, wound over here. But now it is Celestial Sun turn five. And I've only got like four dudes over here and my last two over there. So uh, as long as I don't get tabled, I think I got this. All right, we are mid battle here. Uh, hopefully, well, my uh, commander Oros has detached from his squad of uh, tacticals and he's hoping to charge the warlord. So this will be a warlord versus warlord fight as long as I can get in there. So let me see if I can roll high enough. I need a six. Uh oh, no. <laughs> so this might be the end for my warlord. He is out in the open. Unless my tactical squad can try and get in there. So let's see. Oh no, <laughs> they are out in the open. We will come back to see what mayhem ensues. All right, so it is the end of turn five, my last turn. And as you guys saw earlier, I could not get into charge range, or I was in charge range, but I couldn't get in there. So it is these lone warriors of the light, my celestial sons to brave all this Tau firepower. Now we know how great the Tau are in shooting, so <laughs> I, I, I praise the Emperor. Hopefully he can guide me into dodging these plasma bullets. End of turn five, end of the game, and this is how the dice were rolled. So my, the Riptide, <laughs> fucking hilarious. He rolled one for his Nova charge again. But he had that earth cast pilot array so he had to re-roll again and <laughs> he rolled another one so he hit himself and he's got he took two wounds down all by himself and uh that's basically where everything else went downhill <laughs> so all his other guys shot killed that tactical squad and his freaking warlord over here the commander shot his uh, fusion blasters into my guy and um my feel no pain you know, couldn't not make him feel pain. My commander died. So with that, that was one point for taking down that tax squad, one point for getting the commander down, and then another point for slay the warlord. So at the end of the game, it is Tau with a total of four points. 
and the Sound Alchemist Celestial Sun with a total of five points. <laughs> so by the skin of the teeth, the Celestial Suns win because these two guys decided to stay over there and not die. Um, so real quick, what I thought about this game was the Tau, even at a thousand points, they're fucking scary. Um, I usually play Tau, so I'm usually not on the receiving end. But uh, my buddy over here, he did pretty good fueling them after such a long break. So this goes to show you, even somebody who just got back into 40k can decimate with Tau. Although, I did end up winning. <laughs> what I would change was um, I decided to go with big squads. And it kind of brought my kill points down to basically five, right? I had, I had the Catan, two tactical squads, and my commander. So that's four, but since he had Slay the Warlord, I gave him five. Um, pretty, pretty crazy stuff right there. Um, oh, and my... No, I actually have one more because of my uh, Terminators. But anyway, he brought a lot of uh, units, which was in my favor. He brought one-man squads, he brought drones, which were pretty squishy. And thankfully to that, I won. I could not do anything to his Riptide. Um, my only monstrous creature, my Catan, was the only one that could do anything to it. But again, it was too slow, couldn't get there fast enough while the Tau had all that uh, firepower. Anyway guys, let me know what you guys think. Can you guys not wait for 8th edition so that the Tau can maybe not be as great? But we'll, we'll see what happens there. Anyway guys, please check out our other battle reports. I will put a link, or at the end of the video, there will be a link to it so you guys can check out all the other previous battle reports. And as always, this was the Sound Alchemist, signing out. <laughs>